thing, we have new laws signed by the governor banning those dangerous synthetic drugs. KJCT News 8's Don Coleman has been looking into this national trend. He's joining us now live. Don? Yes, Spencer, starting July 1st, drugs like K2 and Spice are illegal, but there's no shortage of other problems as overseas manufacturers stay one step ahead of the law. You can find them in local smoke shops, and the DEA says despite their labels, these bath salts are meant for one thing. It's going at $40 to $50 a dosage unit, which is about half the price of cocaine. It's the latest internet craze to go viral, but in many cases, this synthetic high is putting young people in the hospital. It is actually like a, a synthetic cocaine slash methamphetamine, so it's really the worst of both, and it's completely unregulated. Surprisingly, the DEA says many truck drivers in western Colorado are abusing the salt, but they say this drug is being marketed to a much younger age group. They're putting it into packaging which is, you know, pleasing to the eye, market names of like Blue Dreams, things like that, and they're intentionally trying to target that young adult crowd. So we went undercover to find out how easy it is to get your hands on something like this. Are there any bath salts for sale? Any uh, bath salts? I don't. We hit two truck stops and two smoke shops, no luck. But that doesn't mean they didn't know what it is and where to get it. It's like fake speed. Do you know where I can find any? Um, you might try imports. So we took a trip down North Avenue. Do you guys have any bath salts for sale? Mm -hmm. Bingo. A half a gram of this stuff costs 40 bucks. We expected to find these bath salts being sold, and we found one Grand Junction store selling them. What we didn't expect? To find K2 and Spice still being sold. You guys have any spice? I don't in stock right now, but I'll have it next week. Oh, you will? Yesterday, the governor signed a law banning some synthetic drugs, but believe it or not, all these shops need is a different strain to keep it legal. If these chemical companies overseas change one or two of the chemical compounds to always stay ahead of the regulations. Reformulizing these drugs is the number one concern for the DEA as they prepare to crack down. In western Colorado, though, we haven't seen too many problems so far. But Spencer, tonight on 2020, you can see what the rest of the nation is experiencing.